Hey kids, what's up? It's me, Pastor Young, and I am here with another Salvation Short. In these videos, I'm going to try to take a, a topic that is kind of big, kind of complex, maybe a little scary, and I'm going to make it really simple, make it easy for you to understand, okay? Today's topic is this. What is the Bible? It's this. All right, kids, have a great rest of your day. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, so the Bible, this is what we call the Word of God. Can you all say that with me, please? The Word of God. Now, boy, I could go into a hundred different directions right now about why that's important, but I want to keep it simple. The Bible says in John chapter 1, in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was God. Wow. Did you realize that the Bible says that the Bible and God are one and the same, meaning you can't separate God from His Word. And so, kids, this was written, and I've heard this many times, you know, yeah, Pastor Young, this was written by man. Why should I, why should I read something? Why should I live something? If it's written by men, well, let me tell you, kids, it was written by men, but it was spoken by God. And so why that matters is it's the words that came out of God's mouth that created everything that we know about. And so if I've got somebody was smart enough to write down the words that came out of God's mouth, it's enough to create things in my life. It's enough to make things appear in my life, just like he did from the very beginning. And the most beautiful part about it is this. Think about this. We want to have a relationship with God, right? I hope so. God is invisible, right? We can feel him. We can hear his voice sometimes and you know how he works on our hearts and we do interact with him but you realize that whenever you hold your bible in your hand you're able to hold god in your hands because like i said he said that he and his word are one and the same and so the more i get to know this the more i get to know god so yes it's true that men wrote it but god spoke it and what God speaks creates things. And what God speaks changes things. And so, kids, I got one more little part that I wanted to put in there. This is uh, what's going to judge us in the end. So not only is it important so that I'll know what God can create in my life and what God can do in my life, His promises, His grace, his salvation, how I'm saved, all of these things are in here. How I handle solution, or how I handle problems, and how I find solutions and and wisdom and answers, they're all in here. But like I said, something for you to remember is, one day we're going to stand before God, and He's going to judge us for all the things that we've done right and all the things we've done wrong. He's going to look at whether his blood is on our life through baptism. He's going to look and see if his spirit is within us, if we've received the Holy Ghost. And kids, if you never read this, you won't even understand or know what he's measuring you by. And so if I'm going to be measured by something, I want to at least understand what the measurement is. And so that's what the Bible is. It is the Word of God. It is God Himself. And it is something that will never change and never lose its power. I hope, I hope that you will decide to start reading the Word of God and start to get to know Him through His Word. I'll see you next time, guys. See ya!